So Jack Holder, another rider, with six points, Jack, coming into this ride. Needs a big ride here. Looking back, found points hard to come by. Outside gate has worked well this evening, though. Here we go, heat number 16. Green light about to come on, it's on now. Let's run. Wow, that was a fast start. Almost green light go. Madsen's got there. Led, uh, uh, Robert Lambert's gone very wide. Oh, Neil Madsen made a big mistake. Oh, my goodness gracious me. It's chaos down the back straight. And hi, Kai Hukenbeck has come charging through. Here comes Jack Holder. I mean, what's going on out there? They're going left, right, up, down. and just can't take your eyes off it. Look at Lambert now coming through. Oh, my goodness. That's tight down the back straight. But Jack Holder, he's managed somehow to get to the front. Uh, Jack Holder has weaved and dodged his way to the front. Super first lap and a half from him. Now Lambert's giving chase. I think Holder has found his pace out front. Robert Lambert had all the speed on the opening lap. He had nowhere to go. Door well and truly shut on him. This will move him on to nine points. He'll go le level with Bewley up the top of the chart, but uh, Jack Holder, super ride from him. Jack Holder, what a stunning ride it was. I can't believe they all stayed up right and through on the opening lap, falling over each other going down the back straight. It was very chaotic indeed. But Jack Holder clearly delighted. Strong ride from Lambert as well. Kyle Hulkenbeck was in front. Failed to score. Just shows you how tough it is. It was um, uh, to ride on instinct there, didn't you? Split second decisions, left, oh, right and centre. Three everywhere. points from Jack Holder. Robert Lambert back in second place, two points. Leon Madsen, one point in third. And Kyle Hulkenbeck, remarkably, somehow missed out. Here's the position after everybody's had four races. Jack Holder... Robert Lambert and Dan Bewley lead the way on nine points. Matze Janowski, Dominic Cabrera and Mikkel Mikkelsen on eight. Andre Lebedev's on seven and Freddie Lingwin likewise. That rounds out the top eight. What a night it is. The big race is to come. Well, what can you say about that race? I mean, at some points there, early on in the race, you just didn't quite know what was going to happen, but Jack Holder managed to survive. Yeah, Robert Lambert, that was his problem. Grabbed a load of grip just as he got to the corner. Went out wide, was going to pass everybody. Jack Holder runs Leon Madsen up well and truly. The door is well and truly shut. For Robert Lambert, he has absolutely nowhere to go. You can see there, he's got the front wheel in the air. Then the bike does a big right turn on him. And Hulkenbeck knows straight away that he's got to cut back up the inside. And Leon Madsen at one point was in front of this race. And then Kai Hulkenbeck up the inside. Now, I'll tell you what, it got so close there. Leon Madsen could have easily high-sided over the back there of Jack Holder. Jack bike lifts, goes right. Then he has to turn the bike hard and stops. People going everywhere. Robert Lambert's got his front wheel on the green, not just on that... Uh, orange and black stripey stuff and it's really tough because that dips down quite harsh comes up the inside there hooking back it leaves him no room whatsoever but uh, what a what a fantastic first couple of laps that was it really was oh, i really having to uh Think very quickly indeed, and remarkably, Kahu Kubek, who was momentarily out in front, failed to score there. Great result for Jack Holder, though. Put himself at uh, the top on nine points alongside Robert Lambert and Dan Bewley. They're looking great. Matze Janowski going along well as well. But that for man, Jack Holder, who is in second place in the World Championship chase, looking good tonight. Nine points.